Right, so there are a lot of problems with the modern web, and that's what Gemini basically sets out to solve. Um, yeah, I'll just demonstrate some of these problems with the modern web just right here in Google. So, you're here on the Google search page, right? And I'm using the Brave Browser because it has a very good um, ad block and tracker blocking systems, but just like eight trackers and you block it, I'm to block stuff and I'll just search it Wikipedia as an example here and just an example here is people also ask like just why did this exist and also the fact that it constantly manipulates the document as well and all these recommendations for like social media and just it's a mess and more examples of this is it's trying to copy like some kind of specific text see how I can't even copy the, the link it just it's all a mess. The web is a mess. Oh, and just look at that, right? 37 items blocked. Just, it should be all a mess. Now, there are other options. There's Gemini, and there's Gopher, and there's probably a couple of other which I'm unaware of. Now, I used Gopher for some time, but the problem with Gopher is that it doesn't even have a concept of MIME types. It's just, it's an ancient protocol, and it doesn't hold up well to modern standards, so, I pretty much didn't use Gopher at all. Well, I used Gopher for a short bit to check it out, but apart from that, I didn't use it at all. So, yeah, uh, there's the Project Gemini website. It's available on clean web if you want for the big web if you want to see it. Um, I feel like another point I should make about the big web is, uh, that's what I'm gonna refer to the HTTP slash HTTPS kind of web. I'm just gonna call it the big web. And another of the problem which I feel with it, with it is, a lot of it comes down to it being heavily commercialized, like advertisements are everywhere and a lot of the main businesses that are in this industry are just, they're there for advertisements and making money off that. So yeah, you can see it's exposed to between GoPro and the web and it basically strives to, uh, to fix a lot of the limitations and pitfalls that are present. Um, I think I should just go ahead and demonstrate this though. So I have a Gemini client uh, this is called Ampora, uh, I'll just show that, yeah, Ampora, so, uh, yeah, Gemini, um, I just have an alias to, uh, to Gemini so that I can just easily just bring it up, there are other Gemini clients out there such as Lagrange and, Lagrange is the only one I'm aware of, but I'm aware that it's not too much code to actually write your own, I've seen people write their own Python um, client for like a very short number of lines of code. So yeah, it's much, much simpler. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just demonstrate. So uh, I have a whole bunch of bookmarks. I'll just, I'll go to my page for example. So yeah, you can see it's just pretty much plain text. Um, I have some code text at the top. I also have the, it's like it's markdown. It's basically markdown. I'll go ahead and demonstrate. Um, Yeah, let's just go ahead and demonstrate this. So, in index, it's basically got your backtext for the code. You got your hashtag for your header one, your header twos, and the all header threes. And then whenever you want to link to something, you just make an equal arrow, and then you can link it like locally within the file structure. So it's a file structure based um, protocol, but it's also you can link to other protocols as well. So I can do go for and then. Yeah, so this will just be a link with uh, the word R, and I'll just link to my GoPro protocol page, or I can do the equivalent for HTTPS, yeah, HTTPS, and then something else, so yeah, Python thumb dot XYZ, and yeah, that'll just go straight to the HTTPS one. Um, another thing about Gemini is that actually there's um, self-signed certificates, so it doesn't actually have the issues which um, HTTP has, where HTTP, you can do man in the middle attacks, so man in the middle attacks don't really exist within Gemini at the moment. I imagine they probably exist, and it actually kind of decentralizes things in a way. You don't have a single central certificate authority like the modern web does. So in that respect, I find it to be pretty useful. Also, it just, 
it's actually a lot of the problems, the perceived problems, and it's not too difficult to convert to a uh, HTTP. So I'll just demonstrate it on my own website right now. I have it. I have a script which I use. Um, well, I have an org file, and then I also have a script which basically runs through all the files and probably sets them up. So that I can just have it as um as HTML and just present it here. So yeah, it's quite simple. Um. It's also really not that hard to set up either. If man, yeah, I get that's the name of it. GitHub, I get Gemini. Let's see if that shows up. Yep, it's a very simple server for uh, Gemini. It was only, yeah, I only had to do like a couple of things. I first had to use OpenSSL to generate a um a certificate, and then I just run just run it basically. That's all there is really to it. It's not as complicated as some people might make it out to be. It's much less complicated than um, than set up a website. Because with a website, you have to set up Apache and you have to set up all these little bits, which just they add up. All right, they do add up, and it's a bit agitating after using H uh, website or HTTP for so long. Um, one other thing is some people will probably bring up. Did this mean that there's no scripting within this? Well, not exactly. There's no client side scripting, so there's no JavaScript. There's nothing like that, which is, in my personal opinion, that is a good thing. It's a very good thing. And some people bring that up as a problem, but I personally don't think it's a problem. There are certain applications which require client side scripting, so it didn't really, like a Gemini finish right already, it didn't strive to replace it. And I'm still probably going to be using the web with uh, HTTP and HTTPS because there are still some functionalities provided by it, like um, WebAssembly, which is quite useful from it. Um, mm, am I forgetting anything? No, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Yeah, that's basically all there is to it. And then I can just I can just write the stuff that I want to. So it's really really simple. It's just also the fact that you see a markdown or it's basically a form of markdown. It's not markdown exactly. So the fact that you see a markdown it just makes everything so much simpler. And that also means that it's very easy to uh, script about it. So I have a script for example. Let's see if I can bring up yeah. This would just like I don't really got my head about Michael blogging. I think that's the word to describe it. So, but yeah, I have it set up so I can just write something. So, um, yeah, so I'll just type something in here, it's like D menu, and I just pipe it into some script, which then get uh, echoed on my page. So, if I go up to yeah, the mini log that I have, yeah, it just, it just comes up. It's really, really simple, very nice. Um, I don't think really much more to talk about. Um, if I, oh yeah, there is potentially the discussion about converting it to HTML. I might make a video on that. I might not. I'm not convinced yet that I should. Cause it's very very simple. Anybody could really look it up. There's actually a lot of um, a lot of projects that are already built on top of this. So let's see, where Gemini software? Yes, yeah. So there's a lot of different servers out there, and there's a lot of different clients out there. As well as browser plugins, I imagine if you want to use one of the browser plugins, you can use that. And yeah, I just noticed that it's Keep Gemini for Keep Browser. I I did use Keep Browser for some time, so I might take a look at that sometime. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of things out here. I highly recommend taking a look at it. It's quite um. It really brings back the magic of the web. And it just it fixes a lot of the perceived problems, well not perceived problems, but almost undeniable problems that have happened to the web thanks to uh, corporations and capitalism and just a lot of other issues that compound together making it not not great. Anyway, yeah, I've talked on, I've bumbled on for about nine minutes, so yeah, I'll stop talking now.